Hello, and welcome to Turnitin's VidBits, where the teachers at Turnitin offer our best instructional tips. In this session, we'll focus on understanding text similarity for instructors. By the end of this video, you will be able to discuss the difference between plagiarism and text similarity, name the factors that increase expected text similarity, determine when plagiarism has occurred and appropriate strategies to address it, find resources to help you. Let's start by thinking about the difference between plagiarism and text similarity. Plagiarism occurs when the ideas or words of another are presented as one's own, or when another's work was used, but they were not appropriately credited. Text similarity, on the other hand, occurs when the ideas or words of another are simply present in one's work. Text similarity can be entirely expected and appropriate, depending on the expectations of the task. Now let's think about the factors that might increase text similarity. In academic genres of writing, like analysis or argument, we expect students to use evidence to support their positions, thereby increasing the expected text similarity. Even assessments can have appropriate text similarity. Consider if students are working from shared definitions or well-known facts. If this common language has shaped their understanding of a concept, then a certain degree of similarity is to be expected in their answers. The rigour of the task is another factor that impacts text similarity. As students grow and develop their academic writing skills, the demands to balance their own ideas with quoted and cited evidence becomes more prevalent. While these rigorous demands naturally lead to a higher percentage of text similarity, they also increase the potential for intentional and unintentional plagiarism. So how do we discern intentional from unintentional plagiarism, and how do we address each instance? Well, we've all seen papers that contained an unnaturally high percentage of similarity to another source. And in those cases, it's hard to argue against the conclusion that intentional plagiarism has occurred. Similarly, if text manipulation has been detected, like omitting quotation marks, replacing characters, using text spinners to generate paraphrase content. This is another clear sign that the text similarity was known to the student and attempts were made to avoid its detection. As a separate issue, students may also misuse AI writing tools such as ChatGPT in a way that is inappropriate for the assignment. In all three of these instances, our next steps are likely to be driven by the policies set forth at the classroom, district, or institution level. So we would need to refer to the code of conduct or academic integrity policy that applies. But what does it look like when plagiarism is unintentional and how do we address it appropriately? Consider if a student has made genuine errors in formatting citations or the proper quoting or paraphrasing of sources. This may indicate a gap in skills that requires targeted instruction. Our next steps here would be to provide formative feedback to the student about the areas in need of attention and supplement that feedback with the appropriate level of intervention needed. But what resources are available to you to help you with navigating text similarity? Turnitin's Similarity Report helps instructors differentiate between text similarity that is expected and intentional attempts to avoid similarity detection through product features and instructional resources that offer clear guidance for addressing skills gaps and text similarity issues. In this video, we will look at Turnitin's new Enhanced Similarity Report that has been thoughtfully redesigned with a new intuitive interface and match categorization panel making it easier to interpret and use as a formative assessment tool to strengthen academic writing skills. When evaluating a student's submission within the similarity report, instructors will first see the overall similarity percentage. The similarity score shows the percentage of a student's writing that is similar to something found on the internet, in our databases, or in someone else's paper. Below this, Match Groups provides a useful summary of any sources that have not been cited or quoted, missing quotation marks, 
and missing citations that may need the instructor's attention, as well as showing what percentage of the paper similarity has been correctly cited and quoted. To see sources in more detail, instructors can look through the Sources panel and select if they want to see overlapping sources from the same text. If the assignment requires students to use textual evidence to support their ideas, consider adjusting the filters to strategically exclude citations, quotes or bibliographic information from affecting their similarity scores. You can also exclude individual matches, for example if a student has previously submitted a draft of the assignment. At the top of the report, we can see two more tabs, flags and AI writing. Flags represent inconsistencies that set the paper apart from a normal submission. Here you might see details of hidden text. This is when characters have been inserted in white and replace characters. This is when characters in a paper have been replaced with similar characters in another alphabet. Both of these methods can be used to present plagiarized content as original. The AI Writing tab provides an estimate of the overall percentage of the document that we have determined to be generated by AI. Turnitin also provides supplemental instructional resources outside of your Turnitin solution that focus on a formative approach to maintaining academic integrity and addressing plagiarism meaningfully when and before it occurs. The Disrupting Plagiarism resources contain ready-to-use posters, handouts and lesson presentations with guided notes to address the concept of plagiarism and model ways that students can effectively avoid it in their work. Instructors can use our resources to model best practices and provide structured guidance in research preparation and planning, keeping students organised right from the start of the school year. We offer activities and resources to help students understand academic integrity before writing and to keep them on track while writing. Finally, we offer resources to help after the writing process, including navigating potentially difficult conversations with students, providing structure to those teachable moments with resources that support a growth mindset, empowering students to reflect upon past behaviours, address their misconceptions, and develop plans for moving forward. We also have a tool that can help you foster an environment of integrity and authenticity in your classroom and can help make feedback and revision processes easier for both students and teachers. Turnitin Draft Coach, an add-on for Google Docs and Microsoft Word on the web, allows students to access a similarity check, a citations check, and a grammar guide during the drafting process right in their document. You can take a deeper dive into any of the resources and features shown here by following the links provided in the video description.